In this video, I'm going to explain how much you'll pay for the perfect patent search, one of the most elite patent search services in the history of the startup inventor industry. And I'm going to do it by showing you the three main parts of the perfect patent search service. You'll be glad to hear that the payments are broken up between these three main parts. So the three main parts are your free consultation, target and search, and results and assessment. I'll tell you what happens at each part and also the price for each part. The name of the first part kind of gives away the price. Your initial consultation is free, but some very advanced stuff happens here. In this part, you'll get a free consultation with me on Skype. The reason we always use Skype is one, it allows for free video calls. So if you have even a basic prototype of your invention, you can show it to me live during the consultation. This makes it really quick and easy for me to understand your invention and what might be patentable about it. And two, this is even better, it allows for free screen sharing at the click of a button. So if you have files, documents, or drawings of your invention on your computer, I can show you during the consultation how to screen share those with me and you can take me through them even using your cursor on screen to help me understand your invention ASAP. This is much better than sending emails back and forth with file attachments, which can take a long time and is not nearly as good at communicating your invention. The second part of the perfect patent search is where the action really starts. If your invention qualifies for the perfect patent search, I'll send you an email with a link to the first payment. If you put that through, I'll straight away get down to the first key part of the perfect patent search, converting your invention into patent claims. This is quite a technical patenting thing, and it's how things have to be done ultimately for you to get a patent at the patent office. I'll draft what's called a claim one for your invention. This defines your invention in its broadest light in a way in which, in theory, would get you perfect patent protection if it got granted at the patent office. But the perfect patent search goes even further than that. In your free consultation, I won't have just worked out the most important main inventive concept about your invention, I would have noted down all the next most important features of your invention too. So for Spoon, the basic invention that I use as a tool in many of my patent programs to help inventors understand patenting, the main claim in the perfect patent search would define something like a kitchen utensil, which has a handle, a head, a hole in the head, and a movable part to facilitate opening and closing the hole in the head. That's what allows it to interchangeably drain and store fluid from the head of the spoon, which is the main inventive concept. So that's what the claim one in the perfect patent search would be. And the perfect patent search would search for anything else that has that. But I'd also have noted down in your free consultation any key preferred features, like the fact that it has a selecting element on the handle to help open and close the hole. And in your perfect patent search, I'd create what's called a dependent claim for that concept. And we'd search that as part of the perfect patent search too. So even if it turns out you can't patent the main idea of interchangeably draining and storing fluid from the head of a spoon, because let's say the patent search shows something else out there that had already done that, we would also search whether any of the things out there that did that, that were found, also had the extra feature of a selecting element on the handle which is a feature that makes the product more intuitive to use. And if none of them do have that extra feature, then even if your main invention concept isn't patentable in its broadest light, you may be able to patent the added selecting element on the handle concept. And the perfect patent search gives you feedback on that. This is why the perfect patent search is so important to your invention and to your patenting. We don't just search your main inventive concept, we also drill down into the next most important features of your product concept and see whether you can patent them if it's not possible to patent the main thing. So I might even draft another dependent claim, drilling down even more specifically on the selecting element concept, defining that it's provided on a top side of the handle. I might then even draft another dependent claim, defining that the selecting element is provided by way of a protruding portion that protrudes through an aperture in the handle. It's pretty technical stuff, but could be very important to your patenting 
Because since this way of doing the selecting element concept is the best way of making the product intuitive, even if the main concept can't be patented, this could still be a patent worth having. I draft as many as seven to 19 of these extra claims so that we completely search any features of your product concept that could get an important patent for your invention. I don't know of any other patent search provider in the startup inventor industry that does this. But then the big moment comes. Once I have all the claims ready, I'll set up a meeting with Examiner X. Examiner X is a former patent office examiner who worked for four years as an examiner at one of the top and most respected patent offices in the world, the UK IPO. That's the UK Intellectual Property Office. They're the UK equivalent of the USPTO. They handle all patent, trademark, and design protection in the UK. Examiner X was also an avionics warfare systems expert in the RAF. So this is a technically gifted person who knows their stuff. I set up a meeting to explain your invention and the claims to Examiner X. It's really important he knows exactly what the invention concept is and exactly what I mean in all the claims. Again, I don't know anyone else who goes to this level of care in this industry. Once he fully understands what's being claimed, I send all the material to Examiner X. Now the search begins, conducted by Examiner X himself. Examiner X does exactly what he used to do as a patent office examiner. He searches the invention based on the claims, doing what's called a claim by claim search. That means he searches the claim one of your invention, the broadest scope of your invention, which would in theory get you perfect patent protection. But if he finds something that blocks your main claim, he'll switch straight to those extra claims I mentioned and search your next most important features. This is one of the secrets of the perfect patent search. It works just like an official patent office search. So when you file a full, often called non-provisional patent application at a patent office like the USPTO, UKIPO, or anywhere else, your patent attorney, as part of your non-provisional patent application, will file patent claims, just like the claims I've explained to you in the perfect patent search. Those claims are then what gets searched by the patent office examiner. In other words, an official patent office search is done based on the claims of the patent application. The perfect patent search works just the same. When Examiner X has done his search, he sends me the results, plus any prior art, like other people's patent applications, that he found. I then go through the results and see whether I agree with Examiner X. If there's any issue or slight disagreement, I contact Examiner X and we discuss it. Then the next important thing happens. I convert the results into the incredible perfect patent search results document, which includes images and links to all the prior art found and also a patentability assessment explaining where the results of your perfect patent search leave you. But this isn't one of those 100 plus pages long patent search results documents that you often get from poor quality providers who want to make it seem like their patent search is really good by sending you a huge results document which can confuse you badly. The perfect patent search results document is incredibly concise and often only six to eight pages long, all sections included. Here's what Steve from LA said about his perfect patent search results document. The concise patentability analysis report written by Jethro after the patent search service was the most impressive thing about the service. The whole report was no more than three to four pages with clear indication of whether any of the reports were related to the patent that I'm pursuing. He also said, I would definitely recommend this service to all inventors. It was done in a very short period of time too. The perfect patent search will help you to pinpoint the exact direction of your patent. Furthermore, it will give you peace of mind and assurance that your monetary investment will be well worth it in future. I learned that every step of the patent writing and invention process must be well planned out and carefully executed with the help of a seasoned pro like Jethro L. Bennett and his team members. Your first payment for getting all of this done is only $495 or £395 if you're a UK inventor. Once your results document is ready, I'll email you with a link for payment too. For that, you get your perfect patent search results document emailed to you, 
along with a video which explains how to read through any of the prior art, if any is found, in your perfect pattern search. You also get an optional consultation with me to discuss the results, any questions, and talk about your next steps in the inventor's journey, if your invention gets through the perfect pattern search. The second payment is just $400 or £300 if you're a UK inventor. And let's talk about one last thing about the perfect patent search, how long it takes. A little earlier, I told you the secret about how the perfect patent search is a claim-based patent search, just like an official patent office search is. Here's another secret. You might think, because patent offices often take months or even years in the case of the USPTO to get your non-provisional patent application search and examination results back to you, that it takes them a ton of time to get their patent search done. But in fact, that delay is not due to how long their patent search takes. It's down to their backlog of patent applications they have to search and examine. In fact, elite patent office examiners, like Examiner X was, are so skilled and so highly trained that they tend to carry out their worldwide patent searches for full non-provisional patent applications in just six to eight hours. They tend to do them in a day. Sometimes they go into a second day, but they're mostly done in a day. And that's one of the reasons why not only is the perfect patent search one of the most elite patent search services in the history of the startup inventor industry, it's also one of the fastest. We're often able to turn around your perfect patent search in just one week. So that's the perfect patent search. A claim-based patent search carried out like this by patent specialists could cost anywhere from $1,500 to $2,000, but it's only $895 or £695 if you're a UK inventor. Please feel free to check out more reviews of the Perfect Patent Search service from other inventors on the website. And when you're ready, select and set up your free consultation to start. I look forward to hearing from you.